Welcome to Vulture's Secret History of Television. This week's entry, Musical Episodes, filed under Give My Regards to Broadway. Musical episodes are installments of a narrative show in which the characters spend much of the episode singing. Let's look at some of the best and the worst. The best musical episodes have always had lighthearted, appropriately zany conceits. An early triumph is the 1956 I Love Lucy episode, Lucy Goes to Scotland, in which Lucy falls asleep and dreams of going to a truly bizarre version of her ancestral country. It's beloved for its lovably hokey presentation. For today, you will slay me a dragon. My darling, my hero, I'm thrilled. Ah. <laughs> There's been an uptick in musical episodes in the past 25 years as television has gotten more experimental. The fourth season finale of Northern Exposure saw series regular Shelley hit with a disorder forcing her to sing all the time. It fits seamlessly because the show was already quirky, and this upped its strangeness. Gotta sing, gotta sing, gotta sing, gotta sing. In 2001, the seminal Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode, Once More with Feeling, had a demon forcing the show's characters to reveal their innermost thoughts through song and dance. The show always had a mix of drama, humor, and the uncanny, so it all felt natural. You work so hard all day to be like other girls. And Oz's 2002 episode, Variety, had inmates putting on a variety show, leading to poignant moments showing joy amidst the darkness. Bye bye. Don't slam the door. And this list wouldn't be complete without Glee, which was an entire series of musical episodes. Though its popularity dipped in its final seasons, its early years were gloriously energetic. But musical episodes often fall flat. ABC's infamous 1990 musical police procedural series Cop Rock was a critical and ratings dud from the outset, largely because there was no reason given for why the singing was happening in the first place. Hey, <laughs> let's be careful out there. And the awful 7th Heaven episode, Red Sox, might not just be the worst musical episode, but perhaps one of the worst TV episodes of all time, featuring regurgitated covers of old songs happening for no reason in particular. So much love. Despite their mixed record, musical episodes show no signs of disappearing from the small screen. And as long as they have the charmingly cheesy spirit of the stage, that's something worth singing about. <laughs> Tune in Wednesdays for more entries in Vulture's Secret History of Television.